every healthy cell in our body has an equal positive and negative charge. It's the yin and the yang, it's the plus and the minus that you see. Every molecule has balanced numbers of cells. Everything that attacks our body, viruses, diseases, funguses, parasites, bacteria, are all aberrantly charged to a positive side. All cancers are positively charged. That's why they overtake, they eat other cells, they destroy pieces of your body and consume. <clears throat> the clay is 100% negative charge. This is 100% pure calcium bentonite clay from that last remaining subsurface mine near Tacoma in California. We've all seen horseshoe magnets. Mm -hmm. And if you take the plus and match it with a minus on the other side, the negative, they'll pull together and they'll attract and they'll hold. If you put them negative to negative, positive to positive, they oppose and they push away. Okay. The clay can be used internally or topically. It absorbs and adsorbs. Absorption is like a sponge. If you put a sponge down in water, it'll soak up a bunch of water. Adsorb means sticking to the surface like Velcro. Now, the difference in clays, they're rated by their efficacy, by their ability to draw positive charges to themselves, hold it, and then you remove it from your body. So you either drink the clay internally to internal, internally detoxify, or apply it topically on your skin and it draws excess oils. We want to get positive charges out of our body. We don't want to affect healthy cells. We don't want to kill anything in our body. All we want to do is remove aberrant cells that are more charged on the positive side than a balanced healthy cell. The vehicle to do that is the clay. So you drink it internally and it pulls positive charged ions to itself and holds them on the surface and internally until you pass them through your body or you put it on your body wherever you want. You see the traditional facial mm -hmm. shape that they do at facials, full body wraps and that sort of thing. Let it dry. By the time it's dry, uh, it's got about another 30 minutes of efficacy that it continues to work. And then you go wash it off your body. So doing this repetitively detoxifies your body. We've all heard that term. How does that work? What does it do? The reason stomach antacids work is because the acidity in our stomachs it has to do with pH levels in our bodies. This is a 9.7 pH. So it will raise the alkaline level in your body. You don't want acid. Now, the distinction that I wanted to make right now was in how this is more effective than the next best-selling clay sitting right here next to it. What's the difference in this clay and say Aztec? Aztec okay. which I you see mentioned. a lot of that. And they're yeah. 97. This comes from the only remaining subsurface mine on the planet that's known uh, near Tacopa, California. 100% pure and removes 37 times its molecular weight and positive charged ions. Aztec is a 97% pure clay, it's a bentonite, and it's found at an area named Furnace Creek at the north end of Death Valley, which is about 250-275 miles north-northwest of the California border. A sodium bentonite molecule is shaped like a pyramid. It has exactly the same, well, 99% the same molecular weight as a 100% pure calcium bentonite. This is sodium, the other is calcium. A calcium bentonite molecule is flat in shape, like a credit card. Now, the size of this molecule compared to a calcium bentonite molecule is like taking this table, which is a two and a half by six, this surface size and making it paper thin to represent the calcium bentonite molecule and taking a P and setting it right here and saying that's the sodium bentonite molecule. You've taken this small little pyramid shaped molecule, hammered it out so thin that it has an immense surface area. That's why calcium bentonite molecules have an adsorption rate 
and it's 50 to 100 times greater than a sodium bentonite molecule. Because the surface area that adsorbs, that sticks to the surface like Velcro, positive charged ions, where this is a very small surface area by comparison. Now, the way you can tell if a clay is 100% pure or not is very simple. And if you'd be so kind as to walk inside and tell Venus we need a jar, a big jar of clay, hydrated clay, would you tell her to bring one out? You've noticed that when you hold that in your hand, touch it on the yeah, side yeah, of you, you feel it, it has that ring. It's called a bell palsy ring. Only two products on the planet to do that. This is one of them. <clears throat> the reason when you thump this on the side, you see it's still vibrating mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. Uh, one pound Venus, the horseshoe. Positive to negative, they pull together. To negative and positive to positive, they repel. This in the tub is one part clay and three parts water. We mix it, let it sit 24 hours, we mix it again, and this is probably on day four or five right now, but it's in perfect, can't get any better after 24 hours and two mixes. What this has done, the water, it's called turning it into a colloidal form. So the water has suspended these credit card shapes and they line up in a fashion like I'm drawing here. That's good, thank you. Four pound will work fine. So it's taken all of these clay molecules inside this tray and lined them up like that and they're floating between the water molecules in this stabilized fashion. They stabilize themselves and they're repelling from each other. None of them are touching each other because they're repelling from each other. So when you take this and you thump it, you're making them vibrate. You're pushing them closer together and then they're trying to get that little space back. They're trying to realign themselves to where they're floating in this quiet space. So this whole tray is nothing but negative charged molecules in water that's trying to find its own space and get back quiet again and not being disturbed. So when you disturb it, when you move it, it vibrates and tries to quiet down.